Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to uh, my little channel where I like to talk to you about the cars that we have detailed. And today we are in the presence of royalty because we have the very first carbon bodied, full carbon bodied car that the wonderful people at Alphaholics have made. And I want to talk to you a little bit, do a bit of a different film today on what can we possibly do to a car like this that's been built from the ground with everything brand new. Why is it here? So I want to run you through a little bit more of that. We will walk around the car together and we'll just go through some of the different surfaces and areas on the car um, and let you know a little bit more in depth about what we've got on the, a job like this. We've got our friends from Motorflix Films here helping me do that process. So it should be a lot more fun for you guys rather than me just sat on my chair like I normally do uh, and talk to you about the job we've done. So come with me and we'll walk around this absolute work of art and I'll explain to you a little bit more about what we do on these cars to get them ready for their first owner. So these cars are built from brand new. They are a brand new car. One of the key areas we get involved in that we wouldn't so much on a normal detail is the engine bay. Alphaholics are very keen that the engine bay, the sides of the bay are as good as they can be, understandably. And of course, you might say, well, it's all brand new paint. It is brand new paint, uh, but obviously the car has been built. So in the process of threading wires, putting hoses on things, you know, inevitably there's a bit of dirt that accumulates. So we make sure all that dirt is gone. We're actually going to the factory now. And before the engine is put in, we machine polish all of the inner wings on these cars. And then when the car comes back to us now, we are reprotecting those inner wings, re-waxing them, and just making sure all of the nooks and crannies are free from anything that might have been picked up during the build process. We also repolish all of the components within the engine bay. So principally the header tank, the expansion tank, and the tops of the radiators. We just final finish make sure they are as perfect as they can be, which is really important on a vehicle like this. Also, while we're here, we also clean off underneath of the engine bay, because don't forget these cars have been road tested, normally about 100 miles worth of road testing. We're in the middle of January now, so it's very important that they're presented as a brand new vehicle, even though they've got those road test miles under their belt. So another area that we pay more attention to with this sort of detail than we would on maybe a new car detail is the exterior bright work. These cars are built from new, but they are built from a, a sort of donor shell. So some of the bright work, so the window is original to the donor vehicle, but has been repolished. A lot of the bright work, so the wiper arms, the headlight bezels are brand new. So all, again, all we do is we're adding a final layer of protection on there cleaning off any fingerprints, any dust, any watermarks that might have been picked up. And then also on the original chrome work, so the window surrounds, the glass surrounds, the nice V Alfa Romeo kidney on the front. What we're doing on those is any extra bits of gloss or finish that we can squeeze out of them is something that we will definitely do. Because these cars are built from new, they've been test driven, it's really important for Alphaholics that we just make sure all of these returns, all of these exquisite details that they have are clean. So we clean all in here. This is another big dirt trap on top of the front doors. These sills are the original ones which have already been polished before they come to us. And again, we just make sure they're free of watermarks we can improve the finish anymore, that's what we do. Um, and again, all of these rubbers, anything else is something that we really try and, what we're trying to do here is present a brand new car, even though it's been built from scratch, it's been hand built and it's been test driven. So we're just making it, making it ready for its new owner. Same with the interior. The seats will get a wipe over, the interior will be vacuumed and anything it needs, anything we can improve upon, 
we will do so. So again, very similar job in the boot to under the bonnet. Uh, there are obviously some beautiful details in here with it being the first full carbon car. We've got the carbon inner wings, which is very important to make sure they're clean and protected. So we have a really nice wax that we use on those. The same with the boot floor with it being driven and having just been built. There is a little bit of dust that comes out from lots of little nooks and crannies. If you build cars, you'll know what I mean. And we just, again, wipe down every surface, wax the interior. Sometimes we will need to polish and just paint correct. We can, there's a little bit more of the finish on these painted surfaces that we can just maximize every now and again. Little things like this exposed carbon on these shuts, if we can increase the finish and of course, the big part of our job on the whole car is to protect every surface. So that's something else that we will do whilst we're in under this boot. So one of the things you might notice on this car, if you've seen a few of these beautiful Alphaholics GTARs, is that this one has no badging on it yet. Uh, and there is a reason for that. We asked specifically, uh, we can just do a better job if there is no badging on it yet. This being the first carbon car makes it the first Alphaholics GTAR 300 because it's now 300 horsepower per ton. So as well as all of those little detail areas, the, arguably the main job with any detailing job, and certainly the one that takes up the most time, is the paintwork. Uh, and this car is no exception. They are, I suppose, what you'd call hand-painted. So these cars are painted to a very high standard in the paint shop. Alphaholics will tell you, even on the non-carbon-bodied cars, there is more than 2,000 hours in the bodywork. And our job really is to be the icing on the cake. Really, the job is to take that paintwork from a nine and a half out of 10 to a 10. Remember, they've done a couple of miles for bedding in. The car has been built. It's had an interior put in it. So since it was painted as a bare shell, without doubt, you're gonna, you know, just through the course of doing stuff, you're gonna pick up the odd bit of dust or thumbprint and fingerprint and a few other bits and pieces. So we can just turn the screw ever so slightly on the finish a bit more. And again, protection. Every car leaves us being fully ceramic coated, which leaves it nice and easy for the new owner to care for, easy to wash and resist damage that little bit more. But we really try and just, all the little things we can see in a detailer's eye, we're just trying to increase that sharpness of the paint up to 10, just really bring out the depth in this. This car is a, a period color called Bluette. What we're trying to do is really make that color perfect. And there's a few tricks we can do with the machine polisher and with ultra fine finishing on a machine polisher, just to make sure that car looks how I hope it looks to you guys there. Just super glossy, super flat, just almost unreal. Um, some people just call it the new car look. Um, and that is what we can give any car really. And on something like this, it's ultra important that we give it that real glow. So I hope you enjoyed that walk around. A bit more detail rather than me just sitting on my chair like I normally would. Big thanks to Christian from Motorflix for coming down and helping to film this. I would just cover myself slightly by saying because of the way these things work, this particular vehicle is about halfway through the amount of work we would do. So the paint has had all of the base correction work doing, all the, all the heavy lifting, I suppose, if you want to use that phrase, done on it. What is left for me to do now is to do all the final wringing out of as much gloss and depth as I can with some ultra fine finishing. And of course, after we've done that process, I will then ceramic coat the paint and then I've got lots of other little details to finish. So the glass will need cleaning, the wheels will need their final clean, lots of things will need a final wipe over. So, in some of the detail shots on this film, you might notice the odd fingerprint or, or things like that. Please forgive me those, just, just because of the way we have to film this sort of stuff. At the end of the day, I'm a detailing workshop. So the car has essentially been filmed halfway through. So hopefully you'll forgive me that little bit of a videographing license, or whatever you want to call it. So all that remains for me to say is thanks very much if you've made it this far through the film. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Again, we're trying to film these things a bit better, add a bit of production value with the guys from Motorflix um, and really make these things a bit more watchable for you guys. So if you've noticed that that is a difference on this film, please let me know because it takes quite a lot more effort to do it. Um, so do let me know. Do give the guys on Motorflix a follow. If you're not subscribed to this channel, of course, do give us a subscribe and a thumbs up and Jay mates and tag anyone you know who's got an Alphaholics GTAR on order because there's quite a big order seven year order wait list i think there is for these now so an incredible thing 
Um, and thank you most of all, actually, to Alphaholics and to the owner of this vehicle who has specified it to his own perfect specification, really. So, you know, thank you to you very much for just making something beautiful. So thank you very much, guys. And um, we look forward to not only seeing you on the next GTAR, but on the next car that leaves TI-22. Thank you very much.